Here's our pilot. <laughs> it's go time. <laughs> you can't move. Are you stuck, dude? Hey, we have to move the balloon so push, we can get out. Push, 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 push hard. Oh, push, oh, push. Good job. <laughs> this is the basket here. We're gonna find out. I did. <laughs> wow. So what does the wind speed have to be before you decide you aren't gonna go? It has to be <laughs> <laughs> I bet this was from the plumbing. <laughs> oh, it's a blade. I thought I thought it was a I thought it was a feather and you were checking the wind. No. <laughs> she said that. There's one up over there. There they go. They're going up right now. See how slow it goes? How cool is that? There's the sun. Are they almost overhead? Safety. Okay. You get these big jet Two big tanks. That's a big basket, I guess I call it. So this basket can fit the pilot and two other people. I wonder if there's a weight limit. <laughs> oh. Hmm. I'm interested to see what they do with this fan. Okay, good morning everybody. Good morning. Thank you so much for coming out. It's a gorgeous day. <laughs> so today we're going to be ballooning. Um, this is the most dangerous piece of equipment. If you're around it, make sure you don't have anything dangling that can get caught in it. It will uh, pull you into it. Do not move the fan if it's moving. Adele's going to be your pilot today. You're a passenger. Listen to what she says. She tells you to stay in the balloon, stay in the balloon. She tells you to get out of the balloon, get out of the balloon. Do not grab hoses or anything like that. I love being in control. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
you can grab onto the sides here. When you enter the balloon, you can grab onto this. Just do not grab onto the hoses here. Do not touch the tanks down here. When you come in for a landing, Adele's good at powder puff landing, but it's always good to be a little prepared. You want to have kind of like a sporty stance and two arms holding onto something. Okay. Bend your knees. Bend your knees. When we're flying, we always want to be aware of power lines. Power lines suck. We don't want to hit those. And we also don't want to be around the livestock. Livestock doesn't tend to like the burners. So help us be aware of that. She'll probably see it, but it's always better to help her have more eyes out there. Has anybody ever been around a balloon before that's new? Kind of really stupid question. All right. So what's gonna happen is we're gonna cold pack this thing. It's gonna get real big. We're gonna have chores. Some people are gonna hold on to the throat. Hold it open. Others of us are going to fluff it up. Some are going to hold the crown. It's going to go time to go hot. There will be a thumbs up. And that's when Adele's going to put a bunch of heat to the balloon. And then it's going to stand up. From there, she's going to give us direction. She's going to tell us hands on. She's just putting your hand on the basket. If she asks her weight on, you actually want to put her weight on the basket. Just don't wrap yourself around anything, okay? What was that last, what was the last thing you said? Don't ever wrap around. Like, don't wrap yourself okay. around. Feet never leave the ground. If you feel your feet leaving the ground, please let go. It is very important. <laughs> <laughs> You'll fly away. <laughs> when, when the balloon stands up, all the dirt that got packed in last time is going to fall out. So don't look up unless you want a whole bunch of dirt in your eyes. And then what she's going to do at that time is set the top, and the balloon's going to bounce a little bit. So watch your toes. Make sure they're not under the balloon. Then we're going to go on the chase. The chase is always fun. I like the chase. It's kind of an adrenaline hit. We'll go find her. We don't need to go anywhere really fast. She knows how to fly. She'll get where she needs to go. I so do? <laughs> you have the steering wheel, right? We will get to her, and then we will do pack up after that. Does anybody have any questions? No? So, Watch for the most important butt in this basket is going to be mine. I'm going to take good care of it, so don't worry. <laughs> I think... So they're holding the line over there. It's hooked up there on the top.
Look down, watch your toes. So the plan is we're going to follow her and see where she lands? Is that the plan? In theory. In theory. Well, there's quite a few going up right now, huh? Wow. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six. That's, That's her us. right there. Yeah. They've got a bunch of balloons out now. Oh, for the sky roof. Yeah. Yeah. Let's see where she lands. That's right. We didn't. Didn't we have didn't, the option. Didn't get it, yeah. We got the car. They was available. Yeah. Um, she is. I don't know. She's still kind of high to be landing. Oh, we're going to get a little closer for her, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. She's good. <laughs> She's really close to those houses. Oh, yeah. Well, our ride, we landed a lot closer. We landed, we landed in the guy's driveway. We landed in somebody's oh, driveway. Oh, my God. We were just so skilled, she managed to somehow get the balloon to deflate into the traffic circle of this little little cul-de-sac. It was amazing. Alright, let's see what she's going to do. Where are we going to park? Maybe she's going to go come over go closer around. to us. <clears throat> she's got wind toward us. Yeah, maybe. Okay, so you go ahead and so, just going up and then coming down. Uh -huh. Is that what you're doing? Unless the wind changes the plan, which I hope it doesn't. You get stuck over houses or something, you know. You We're going out right over the houses. <laughs> we can't go back, huh? Nope. Nope. <laughs> now we're to the field over there. Yeah. Uh, probably not. Oh. <laughs> let's see where we'll let's see where the wind takes us, right? Yeah. Adele? Uh, That's kind of how it works. Uh, Get all the balloons out there. So. This is so fun. Yeah. See, you had no idea. Huh? No, really, I had really. no idea. <laughs> <laughs> My first balloon ride. So let me get you. Turn around, let me get your reaction. What's your reaction for your first blue balloon ride? <laughs> I'm happy. You're happy, <laughs> happy camper, huh? Yep.
Look at the little cars down there. <laughs> How fun. Well, we might go in that field over there. Where's that, like a wash down there? Yeah. 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 You know if you land that land down there, it's gonna be hard to get out. <laughs> yeah. See this is a good direction. Hopefully we'll just stay at this level and we'll get yeah. over there into that field. You can see how slow it goes. Today. What do you think it is? Maybe not even five, huh? Miles per hour? What do you think? Two. Two miles per hour. Yeah. I get to be in front because yes. I'm short. Okay. That's okay. Alright. Here we go. I just need to make sure I don't land on a house or a person. That wouldn't be cool. <laughs> or, or the road. Well, the road would be okay as long as, you know, I stop traffic when I find up. Have you ever landed on a road, Adele? Oh, a lot of times. You have? Yeah. I've landed on roads. Um, I've landed in the, there's a little, have you ever been to Telluride, Colorado? No. Well, right at the bottom of the ski lift, there's like this little, little circle area. Uh -huh. I've landed in there. I've landed in intersections like this. You'd be amazed at where you can put one of these things yeah. when you have to. <laughs> <laughs> but see, this is what I was saying. Seven stories of nylon with a barbecue. <laughs> So how do you know which one to to uh, put on? Sorry, I have what's called a redundant system. Okay. So that if something happens with one, I can always turn off the other one. The main thing is fuel management because you want to make sure that you're keeping, um, you know, both tanks at about the same kind of For level. weight. Yeah. Um, so that you're not, you know, kind of tipping over and stuff. Uh -huh. Not that it would make difference with the cables and stuff, but it's just, it's better to keep your, your fuel balanced. Mm -hmm. And then each burner has a specific um, purpose. So this one wiggles and it gimbals. And so you've got a little more control um, of where you're going to put the flame. This one I like to use for landing because I can I can just reach around behind me and you know, okay yeah okay but and this one is stationary so that you know if you if you bump or slide or something when you're landing it's not gonna it's not gonna accidentally burn your balloon I see yeah. When you were lifting it up, and you start just started that flame, mm -hmm. um, weren't you afraid like it was going to burn your balloon? It looks so close. Well, it's very directed heat. Um, okay. So, and it this morning was a little sloppy because the fan died. I usually have a little more air in her. Okay. But yeah. You know. It is what it is. Burns it is what it goes, is. It goes to the shop and gets fixed. We start over. Uh -huh. <laughs> there are two kinds of pilots. The ones who have...
burned their balloons and the ones who haven't. <laughs> yeah. She's going to radio us in. Erin Chase, this is Erin. It looks like we're going to be on the other side of the arroyo. Copy that. We should sing, Oh, What a Beautiful Morning. Do you want to hear me sing that this morning? Yeah, let's sing it. What? What do you got? Some liquor was spilt on the bar room floor. <laughs> the bar was closed for the night. Uh-oh. When out of his hole came a little gray mouse <laughs> to bask in the pale moonlight. <laughs> Back on his haunches he sat. <laughs> and all night long you could hear him roar. Are you going to sing with me as well? What? Oh, what a beautiful morning. Oh, I don't know the words to that one. Oh, this goes earlier. Oh, what a beautiful morning. Oh, what a beautiful day. I've got a wonderful feeling. Everything's going my way. That's all I know, too. <laughs> Where the wind comes, <laughs> and complain. I know. <laughs> we did sing that one when we were in Oklahoma. It was at Kayla's house. We sang that. Oh, okay, let me move this way, and you can shift that way. Okay. I'm sorry, but it is what it is. It is. getting across there. No, they're going to go all the way around. That's all the way around. The oh, I see. Okay. Oh, now we're going on the other side. <laughs> we are drifting. But I don't want to be on the bike path. I want to be over on the axis. Oh, uh -huh. is this a bike path? Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's not a bike path. That's nice. As long as you don't have to drive on the bike path. We get a little quick. Yeah. Pardon my face. <laughs> yeah, that's really hot on your head. Yeah. 15 million BTUs. Yeah. Looks like that one just landed. Oh, they're going up.
Oh, so you can call, control a little bit by that, huh? Tiny. What do you think? Oh, that was cool. awesome. Yeah. Thank you so much, Adele. Did you see your hat on the floor? So they're going to pull her down now. Go help them and wrap it up. This is called milking it. So they're pulling it down there. It's getting the air out. Rolling it up like you'd roll up a sleeping bag, huh? Yep. It is very light, huh? No, we'll, <laughs> what we'll do is uh, we'll pick up some fabric and then we'll carry it over the bag. Uh, oh, uh, Alan, hun, we were gonna. Oh, you're gonna snake it? Okay. Yeah, down over that way. Okay. It's like Sorry, windbreaker material over. almost. Okay, so I need everybody over on this side. Okay. Oh, 
I'll show you the process here. There's stuffing it in the bag, basically. Pick it up. <laughs> <laughs> This is how you pack it in, huh? <laughs> Susan, what tried to dive in there before him? I always, I'm the last one and I don't get to fully sit on it. I'm just sitting on the side like this. Alright, do a lift. We're just going to pick up all the handles and get it settled. One. I think we need to do an adult sit on it now. Adult sit on. One. Okay, so everybody turn Everyone. around. <laughs> turn around. Buns on. One, two, three. Bounce! 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 Yeah. One, two, three. Oh, there you go. Looks good. Yeah, it does not look like it's going to pass the work. Awesome. <laughs> okay. And what's the specific meaning so of that? Started, you know, I had air spelled. A I R E dash N. I'm fine with But I'm, I, you know, 23 in me says I'm 99.6% Irish. Okay. So, He's 100. Hey, so they say I haven't had 23 in me. Family is a family, though. Yeah. Well, I come from Donovan's. So um, I, and at the time, my mom and dad had kids coming over from uh, the Children's Friendship Project of Northern Ireland. And they would send a Protestant and a Catholic teenager over to spend the summer together. Yeah, I remember. You're what? Oh, interesting. Yeah. What a great idea. And um, uh, that's, so that's, you know, kind of how I, I got the name. I wanted the Aaron Gobra kind of fly for, you know, um, Ireland forever, but fly forever with the A-I-R-E-N. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh. And then um, when I went back to Ireland, I realized that A-I-R-E is also ca uh, Gaelic for caution. And oh, that's good too. so it's good. safe, good. flying yes. forever. And Perfect. I mean, if you ask any of my crew, I am one of the safest pilots out. They they trust me that if you know we'll show up, and if it doesn't look like it's going to be a good day, then we just drink. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So I mean, all of my first timers okay. over here. Okay. I'm not a first timer because I flew in Egypt. Let's see what she's going to do. <laughs> So, so um, so bring it back the next time. No, <laughs> take it home, and if you drink it, drink it. What I'm going to do is I'm going to tell you a little bit of the history of ballooning. This is God's honest truth, the way it happened. It started in the late 1700s with a couple of brothers by the name of Mongafier. They were paper makers. <laughs> Okay, if you catch this, you don't have to do this. <laughs> you know, Adele, I would think that you would be really a pro at this by now. Well, I usually <laughs> Not as strong as she Okay, Josh! <laughs> <laughs> hey, Jake, did you fly? Yeah. 
Good. How was your fight? Good. <laughs> okay, so if you catch it, you don't have to do this. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, the Montgolfier brothers, late 1700s, they're paper makers, and one night they were sitting in the local bar and they were drinking and they were thinking and huh, they were thinking about drinking some more. <laughs> Next thing you know, one of the barmaids walks in front of the fireplace and her skirt lifts up and they see her ankles. Well, being the lascivious Frenchman that they were, that became the topic of conversation for the evening. They decided that it was smoke from the fire that made her skirt rise. They saw that they made a big enough skirt and tied a uh, platform on the bottom of it that they could fly. So they went out and they built this, um, you know, big bonfire, <laughs> threw all kinds of wet wool and cow dung on it. It, it smoked. It stunk. <laughs> they built this great big paper bag, reinforced it with some silk, tied a platform on the bottom of it, held it over. Sure enough, it actually looked like it was going to fly, but they didn't know if there was going to be air to breathe, if there were monsters hiding behind the clouds, you know, anything like that. So they decided that they would send a, a goat, a duck and a chicken <laughs> on their first flight. So they got the farm animals on and the, you know, the balloon goes flying off over the French countryside. It was a beautiful morning, kind of like this morning. And eventually the balloon lands and in the haste to get off from the, the, uh, the platform, the goat stepped on the duck's wing. Oh, poor ducky wucky. <laughs> and that was our first balloon quack up. <laughs> in the tradition of flying animals, now we fly turkeys. <laughs> so first flight under their belt, they're feeling pretty good about the whole thing. And so, you know, they bring the balloon back and they more wet wool and cow dung on the fire and everything is ready for a man to fly. But all of a sudden the king steps in and he says, I don't want to lose any of my tax paying subjects. So they brought a volunteer from the Bastille, kicking and screaming in irons, and they told them, if you survive your first flight, you will, you know, we'll grant you your freedom. He thought that was a pretty good deal, but then another nobleman convinced the king that if anything happens to me, you can have all of my lands and my daughter. And the king thought, yeah, that's a pretty good deal. So he let hit that one French nobleman be the first man to actually fly in a hot air balloon. Well, his name was Rosier de Pilote, and that's where we get our modern, our modern term pilot. So they got two, two flights under their belts. You know, they're feeling pretty good. So they bring it back, you know, more wet wool cow dung. The Filey, the Montgolfier brothers get to go flying across the French countryside. They had a gorgeous morning, kind of like we did. You know, they were flying over the peasants and the hoers in the field. The what? A, a hoer in the field. You know what? A, a hoer in the field. <laughs> well, they finally decided that they were going to come down and land in this in this farmer's field. Well, turns out that this this farmer had been making some hanky panky with the lady down the lane. And he thought that this belching bag of smoke was the devil coming to get him. Well, he was not going to go without a fight. So he ran into the barn, pulled out a pitchfork, and proceeded to tear the balloon apart. Well, the Montgolfiers thought, you know, it's going to get pretty expensive if we have to build a new balloon every time we want to, you know, do this. So they realized every civilized, has everybody got glasses? Every civilized Frenchman recognizes, grab a glass, uh, recognizes a bottle of champagne and they would be known as civilized Frenchmen and, you know, not monsters coming, you know, or whatever. And that's how champagne got associated with ballooning. That's also where you get the term peasant under glass. Oh. <laughs> so, so anyway, you know, the Mangafe started flying, you know, all over the French countryside and they were having a great time. The English saw what the French were doing. Well, God forbid that, you know, the French do anything that the English didn't do. So the English started flying all over the English countryside. The Irish, yeah, the Irish, <laughs> they found out that you people were getting up having fun and drinking <laughs> early in the morning. Well, what better sport for an Irishman to get involved in than one way you can drink in the morning. So the Irish got involved with ballooning, but like all good Irishmen, we have to have a prayer for everything. So fellas, if you remove your hat, the winds have welcomed you with softness. 
The sun has blessed you with his warm hands. You have flown so high and so well that God has joined you in your laughter and set you gently back into the loving arms of Mother Earth. Amen. Now, have you kneel? You didn't get to fly with your hands. You don't get to drink with your hands. I'm sorry. I can't you're, you're good. You're good. You're good. You're good. <laughs> no excuse for the youngins, though. Uh, <laughs> come on, you girls are used to this. <laughs> no, I'm not. Jump, jump, jump. We're in college. You got this. <laughs> Ready? Oh. Go for it. If you, no and if you really? spell it, my next flight's a bad one. Oh, oh. oh. No pressure. <gasps> oh. <laughs> 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 oh gosh. Oh, she finished it. <laughs> we have an expert up in this. Welcome stuff. to Balloon. Oh, thank you. Welcome to Balloon. <laughs> so, everybody get champagne that wants some? Generally, what we do is we pin women near their hearts and men near their brains. <laughs> That's why I became a pilot. <laughs> How cute. So oh, that's cool. Finnegan, he's king of the leprechaun. I am the queen of ballooning. <laughs> I have the tiara to prove it. That's true, I see that. Let's see what it looks like. Oh, that is cute. That is really nice. 